Hello, um, I'm going to be reviewing the Elemental Knives um, Sapphire Stiletto today. Um, I've had this knife for about two months, so um, it might look a bit worn, but I don't use it that often, so it should be fine. Um, I'm just going to be giving my opinions on it. Um, I, if you haven't already seen I did review the Bayonet Lore, so if you want to watch that, then go ahead. But um, there it is. This is what's going to be in the box. Um, got cleaning cloth, little note saying that this is not a toy, the knife itself, um, this is a little foam case that the knife comes in, and then a carrying case for the knife, and that's it. So, um, yeah, that's what you're going to be getting in your box. Um, this knife is $59, or at least it was at the time that I bought it. Um... And I really do like it. Um, I think it looks very nice, but I do have a couple problems with it um, that keep me from giving it as good of a rating as I gave the last Elemental Knife that I got. Um, however, it is still a very good knife, so stay tuned if you are thinking about buying one of these, because I'll lay out the pros and cons for you. Um, so just looking at the carrying case, it's Velcro, has a little slot for the knife to go in. Um, it's nice, nothing crazy there. Um, that's about it. The knife itself, here it is. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that the the sapphire part of it isn't a glossy finish. It's more of a matte blue, which um, you know I don't have a problem with. But if you're looking for like a super glossy knife, then that is not this. Um, let's see if I can get it closer to the camera here. The wood handle. Um, which isn't actual wood, it's just the same um, sort of plasticky polymer that a lot of the handles are. It's still very good quality though, it's not bad plastic. Um, it has wood grain on it, it's kind of hard to tell on the video, but it does have um, kind of like a swirling wood grain pattern, which looks very nice. Um, these buttons that are on the, you know, uh, handle of the knife that you would normally push and pull in for a real stiletto knife do not work as switch blades are illegal in the US so you know obviously you're not allowed to have them how you actually open the knife is this up here so on one of these little stylistic handles at the top of the knife there's um, a little push tab which you're going to push in on to uh, open the knife as so um, I'll put that in frame while I talk about it so this is my only major problem with the knife. I've had it for two months, and um, I have it on my desk, and I open and close it a lot, you know, while I'm playing CS or I'm a different game, or, you know, just to, you know, mess around with it. Um, and the, when I'm cutting open a box or something, I open it. I open it a lot, and so I've loosened it a decent amount, um, but it's extremely hard when you first get it, and it even still is after a couple months of using it, to open the knife. You have to really get the right leverage and you have to push really hard um, to the point where it actually does hurt your finger. Um, you know, I have pretty good grip strength, so I can, like, hold on to the handle while I'm opening it. But if you have sweaty hands, it can slip out, and then if it opens while it's falling, that could screw something up. Um, I don't know. It's not like it's a bad design. It's just it feels stiff, or at least mine does. Um, however, that's not a deal breaker for me. I would happily buy this knife again. It's still a very good-looking knife. Um, and, you know, after you open it and close it a lot, it does um, loosen up. So to close the knife, it's the same as most pocket knives, you have this little um, push right here that you push in and then use your hand on the flat edge of the blade and you could use that to push it in. Um, obviously ambidextrous, like most pocket knives. Um, and then the blade itself, you know, it, it looks good. It doesn't really have as much pattern. It's more of just a solid blue. Um, it doesn't have as much pattern as uh, the knife in the game does. And obviously it has the, the um, silver blade edge because, you know, they can't coat that part. It's all metal, um, but it's coated in what kind of feels like some type of dip that they would use to get the pattern. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's very good quality. Um, I don't like it as much as my lower belly knife, like I said earlier, um, which I do have another review on, but it's, it's also not 
bad by any means. I'd rate it a solid like 8 out of 10 or 7 and a half out of 10. Um, it's definitely a very good knife. My only complaints are A, that you can't open it, you know, at any point from this. You have to use the quick release to open, um, which, you know, once you do it enough times and loosen it up, it's not terrible, but it is stiff. Um, what's odd is that they have a little indent on the blade that with most pocket knives, you'd be able to use to pull it out, but there is no groove on the handle that corresponds to it to allow you to pull it out. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, I guess it's just there so that you could grip it while you're closing the knife. That'd be my assumption. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, it's a great knife. And if you're on the fence about buying it, this is the Sapphire version. They have Ruben Sapphire. Um, I might try the flip knife instead of this just because... I would assume the flip knife is easier to open, but I like the style of a stiletto knife, um, and I actually have a stiletto in CSGO, a stiletto sapphire, so, you know, that kind of helped me make my decision. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, in the description is also going to be my code. If you're looking to buy an elemental knife, you can use that code. Um, it'll get you 10 bucks off, and it'll get me 10 bucks off my next purchase. So, win-win. Um, Again, I do recommend this knife. I would also, though, recommend a flip knife. I think those are in stock right now. You can check it out at the time below in this video. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.